Hi. Welcome, welcome. We're going to do another live tonight, and I'm excited to talk about this because I think all of us like to save a little bit of money, and some of us um, really like to be thrifty and find ways to you know, make things last longer or be, get creative and, you know, use different products in different ways. Um, how many of you have listened or watched um, Alton Brown, you know, on the cooking channel? He always talked about like the unitensil, <laughs> like a utensil in your kitchen that could only be used for one thing. So that's kind of what we're talking about today is thinking outside of your makeup box or your makeup bag or your makeup palette and looking at your makeup in a different way to where you're actually um, using it as a multi-makeup, a multitasking makeup. So um, welcome, welcome. So if anyone, you know, so there is no reason why <laughs> we have to use one product of makeup for every single step. And I'm gonna show you here uh, how you can use the makeup that you already have in your makeup bag or your makeup palette um, in more than one way. Okay, so let's welcome. Come on in. Hi, Lisa. And what we're going to do is um, going to go over some of this fun stuff. Thank you. These are peepers and I get all my glasses off of Amazon. Mm, go figure, right? But I go to the peepers site on Amazon and they have so many fun ones. And these are just readers. Um, I just get it in the number that I usually wear and um, you don't need a prescription or anything, but um, yeah, they are great and they last a long time and they come in so many fun shapes and colors. So those are peepers. Okay. All right. Well, as you come on, make sure you say hi. I'm going to make this very interactive. So if you're watching it on the replay, I apologize um, that you missed the live, but we're going to have some fun and we're going to um, ask a lot of questions and um, hopefully the, it will be real interactive tonight. Okay. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I want to show you or talk to you about is bronzer. Oops. Sorry. Let me scoot up a second. Ugh. <laughs> okay. All right. So let me take my glasses off. Got my mirror here so I can see. So cream bronzer. Okay. How many of you have some type of cream bronzer in your makeup bag? Um, bronzer is really fun. And if you um, are using like a powder bronzer, consider maybe switching to a cream bronzer because it's really great for mature skin and it's very versatile. So I'm going to show you some fun ways uh, that you can use cream bronzer. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is I want to show you, obviously you can use it as bronzer and it gives you a really great glow, but you can use it as eyeshadow. It makes a gorgeous eyeshadow. And the easiest way that I do it when I'm in a hurry and I just want to get done with a little color on my lids is I'll just take my finger and just tap into a little bit of my bronzer and just wipe it right on my eyelid. And then I just kind of start to pull it up into the crease and then up, up along my brow and feel free to build on that. So always, you know, just start with less and see kind of what color you're getting with the bronzer that you have and just pull that up. Isn't that fun? So that makes just a really fun eyeshadow. You can um, build it up even with an eyeshadow brush if you wanted to build it up in the corners, but just again, a quick eyeshadow, right? How easy is that? Um, you can use it as blush. So, you know, um, the nudes and the neutrals and browns, brown is really in for fall. Uh, lots of just the brown is very in. And so if you have bronzers or, you know, this one here is a little bit more of a, you know, a, a bronzy color, a little more, more, more of a brown color, but there's lots of different bronzer shades out there that some are warmer, some are a little bit lighter, but um, you can use it as blush as well, right? So just take, you know, a brush and again, tap in and just place that where you would normally put your blush and just blend that in. And you'd be surprised how pretty and how natural and what a nice, pretty glow, just a little bit of bronzer as a blush works. Hi, Pat. Hey, Becky. So come on in. We just got started. And at any time you have questions, we're going to keep this very interactive. I want you to ask the questions as we're going along. Okay. So yeah, pretty cool. Pretty easy, huh? The third way you can use it. Um, 
Well, you can use it right on your lips as well. Like I said, uh, the browns are very in right now. And of course, we're heading into fall. So, you know, just a little bit. But you can actually use this on your lips. And I think that is, I mean, look at how simple is that? Very monochromatic, but very, very pretty, very natural, very quick. And really, I just put my makeup on and <laughs> grabbed my bronzer, bronzed a little bit, add some bronzer to my eyelids, add some bronzer to my cheeks. And with just one product, I have a lip color, blush, eyeshadow, and some warmth to my skin. So give me some hearts, please. I know there's just a few of us on right now, but give me some hearts boop, 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 <laughs> and let me know if that is something that you think is pretty cool and that you would like to try. So consider creams if you can. If you're going to go get a bronzer, um, invest, you know, get yourself a cream bronzer and then use it in multiple ways because it's that's a really great way to do that. Hi, Susie. So bronzer. Okay. Oh, one more thing I want to show you. Now, we just used it on this side with just on its own. But what if, <laughs> could you add, could you add a little cheek cookie on it? If, oh, hang me, help, help me out, Pat. Could you add a little cheek cookie on it if the bronzer? Oops, typo. I know, right? Don't you just, yes, 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 yes. So that's what I'm going to do next. Great minds think alike, Pat, really. So cheek color. Yeah, why don't you take it another step? And let's say you have, <laughs> yes, cheek color. I got you, girl. Let's say you have a cheek, um, a blush or a lipstick or a lip palette, a little lip tin that's really bright. It's really fun. It's bright. You love it. Maybe in the summer or just you love it, you know, for certain things, but you're like, you know, gosh, that color, I maybe it's just not one that. I use a whole lot, okay? So we don't wanna waste it, right? So let's warm it up by mixing it with some bronzer, okay? And we sure can. So I'm gonna kind of show you um, a couple ways. You can mix it right on your cheeks, but I think sometimes instead of doing that, grab yourself just like a little hand mirror or a plastic Tupperware lid or something. So I'm gonna do that. What I'm gonna do is grab a little spoon kind of thing and I'm gonna pick up, I'm gonna set these here on my, on my little makeup mirror. So I'm gonna pick up a little bit of the bronzer and put it on the mirror, see if I can do this without tipping everything. And then I'm gonna pick up a little bit of that color and you can mix it on the back of your hand, but you know, we're gonna try something fancy. All right, so, so you can see that color and then just start mixing that together. And now all of a sudden, you know, we went from a very light or a very bright kind of reddish very red cherry color. Let me show you what the difference is. Okay. So here's the color just by itself. Okay. So let's say I was just going to use that color on my cheeks. And you're like, what? I mean, that's a fun color, but woo, that's a little woohoo, right? And maybe it's just a color that you're like, I'm not going to wear that very often, or I'm going to really have to blend it out, which is fine. But mixing it with a bronzer to warm it up, Okay, now you can use it this way or you can just use it on your lips, but now you can pick it up and actually it's gonna be so much prettier, maybe for the season. It's gonna be a little bit warmer. Let me take that and whoops, let me grab my brush to diffuse that a little bit. But now it's such it's a much more warmer color. I don't know if you can see it. Let me put it on the back of my hand so you can kind of see the color there, how much warmer that color was. Okay, maybe the mirror's not gonna work. It's a little bit hard for me to, <laughs> but can you see how when you mix that together, I think on the, I, I know on something shinier, it mixes better compared to just, you know, having this color on its own, which is very pretty, but maybe we wanna warm it up and we want something a little bit more of a rusty red. Okay, and that can go on your lips as well. So, you know, that color that you created can also go on your lips or it can just be a new cheek color or it can be a new lip color. So look at your colors and if you have things in your palette that are just, or in your makeup bag, you know, that are just a little too bright um, 
for the occasion or just too bright for what you what you might be wanting to use, then mix it with one of your bronzers, okay? All right, I might have to rethink my mirror here. This is a little tricky to hold this up, but all right, let's keep going. Let me see here. So bronzer, bronzer, any questions on that? On how you can mix bronzers and use bronzers in different ways? Um, Tiger Lily, yes, that's a that's a, a color that uh, from Saint. Um, again, a, a probably a bright corally color, um, and that might be just too much for you on your own, Pat. So yeah, try mixing it with a little bit of your of a bronzer that you have to warm it up. And you know you can mess around with the different um, amounts that you put in. And if you're really into it, you can get those little uh, little makeup little screw things that you can do for like traveling, like little travel things. Another great idea too is you can get, um, a lot of gals use like eye contact holders where you put your eye contacts in. You know, they have the lids that shut. You know, you can mix up little amounts of, of your custom colors. You know, you can just get really creative. Think outside that makeup bag, okay? Yeah, so I, I love that, yeah. Oh, I'm glad that's a good tip. Hey, Tessa, so Thank you. I'm glad you like that. All right. So let me check my notes for bronzer. So eyeshadow just on its own, just on its own as a lip color, mixing it with another cheek color that's too bright to warm it up. So lots of fun things you can do with bronzer. Okay. All right. So I love that. Let's skip now over to all the things you can do with either cream blush or lipstick. Okay. Okay or lip color. So um, even if you have a lipstick color that you have that maybe um, is a nice satin shade or more of a matte tone shade and it's a nice neutral or it's a shade that you think, you know, I might wanna try that as an eyeshadow. I think that would be really pretty. So there are a lot of different shades. I would say think in the families of like more of your nudes, um, maybe more of the kind of taupey brown uh, lip and she lip and blush. Um, what else? Uh, plums, even plum lip color and blush and even peach toned ones. So this one here is a peach tone and I'm gonna tap my finger into it and do the same kind of thing that I did over here. I'm just gonna use it as like a cream eyeshadow, even though this could have been off of a lipstick tube or a cream blush that I had, or like this one here that I'm using, which is called Saint Tropez, Saint Tropez, Saint Tropez, Saint Tropez, Saint Tropez. I don't know how to say it. I'm so bad at pronouncing things, but look at how, look at what a pretty soft color that is. And this could go on my lips. It can be mixed with my bronzer if I wanted to make it a warmer. So you, are you getting where I'm going with all of this? What do you gals think? Um, please comment below and let me know what you're thinking and if you're liking some of these tips. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Shay. Hey, Susan and Carolyn. Come on in. So um, a lipstick or a cream blush in the right tones, something that's a little more neutral and I think the satin shades or even matte shades are going to work better on your eyes than it's something that's really glossy or a lip gloss. But so if you keep it to something that's more of a satin or matte works really well. Okay. Um, what about, well, we did this a minute ago, but let's do it again because <laughs> I thought it was so fun. And maybe I'll just do it on the back of my hand. I'm going to have to do that because it's too hard for me to hold this up. But what about mixing... Um, or if you have a glossy uh, lip color or a really light, light or cooler toned color that's very light, like a light pink. And you're like, you know, um, this light pink lipstick, it just looks kind of chalky on me. Let me show you here. What do I have on my lips? Let me wipe that off. Let me show you. This color is pretty light. And so when I put it on <laughs> my lips, it looks a little, <laughs> looks like I got into the bag of, uh, I don't know, a bag of powdered powdered sugar don't, mini donuts or something. So it's a little frosty. It's a little white. It's a little powdery on my lips. Um, but it's also hard to see on my cheeks. So it kind of gives a little nice shimmer. But again, it's on my skin tone. It's just kind of hard to see. So get out your bronzer. 
and um, find a bronzer that you have. This one here is one that's a little bit of a warmer toned bronzer. And again, there's always different kinds of bronzers out there. Just look for cream bronzers. This one here happens to be from Saint also. And this one is called uh, Heat Waves. And it is really, really pretty. I wanna make sure, yep, Heat Waves. And it is a little bit more of an orange tone. So let me see if I can mix this on the back of my hand. Yeah, I know some of us, some of these lighter pink colors are just way too light, way too light. But that doesn't mean we can't use them for other things, right? I mean, this, if it wasn't glossy, it would make a really pretty uh, uh, eyeshadow. All right, so let's take those two together. Let me get a little bit more on my finger because I want to be able to mix it. All right, and then we'll mix these two together until you build up the color that you want. Usually you have to, that's why I like that little scooper thing, that little palette. There we go. Okay, so now, look at that pretty color I have. Let's put that on our lips. And so now I have a really pretty kind of, I don't know how to describe that, almost a taupey pink. And so that makes a really pretty lip color and very nice neutral, but it's not white and it's not powdery, right? So we can also put that on our cheeks and it could be, um, it's gonna show up a lot better on the cheeks, right? Let me see if I can get that off when we mix it together. So again, creating our own custom colors um, instead of maybe throw, throwing product away or just deciding, you know, gosh, that was a bad buy, bummer. You know, rethink, rethink your makeup in your bag or in your palette or in your box or in your drawer and experiment with mixing them. The key is really to use cream. If you have, you know, if you're looking for new makeup, or, you know, you have cream makeup in your bag, get it out, you know, so cream blush, you know, lipstick is cream usually, right? Um, bronzer, you know, look, try to see if you have a, a cream one. If not, get yourself a cream one that you can experiment with to multi-use. All right. So I think that's really fun. Let's see what else was I going to talk about. All right. So I think what's so cool about that is, again, we can use it. Also, lipstick or a lip color, if it's just like, you know, you bought it, it was just a lipstick and you're like, well, it's just lipstick. I can't use it for anything else. Yes, you can. Take that lipstick, pick up a, um, you know, like a little brush, pick up some color off of the end of that lipstick and use it as a cream eyeshadow. Take that lipstick and again, pick some up, maybe put it on the back of your hand and apply it as cheek color. So a lipstick can be blush. And then of course, cream blush, we can use on our eyes like I showed you, and we can use, um, you know, on our lips. So cream is so great because it's so interchangeable and it's really versatile. And that's what we're looking for when we're trying to save money and we're trying to make the best use of the makeup we have. Hi, hey, April, hey, Linda, and hey, Kathy, Velma, Diane, Robin. I just wanna say hi to everybody real quick. Hey, Jane. Yeah, so um, the cool thing is, is that, um, Cream makeup also lasts a long time, okay? So when you have a color, you may be like, oh, I'm never gonna get through this color. But when you start thinking again outside the box and get creative with that, you're gonna be like, well, I'm gonna use this up quite a bit now if I mix it with the bronzer, this is my new favorite color, right? So hey, Kathy. Okay, so let me answer this. Um, Kathy says, I have Audrey, which is also a Saint color. That is a very, it's a, for those of you who don't know, Saint is a cream makeup company, uh, mostly cream-based makeup. Um, and so Audrey is a pink. Yes, it's a pink. It's a matte pink or a satin shade pink. And it's, um, it's very pigmented. And so, yeah, she tries to mix it. Um, don't know if it will work, but worth a try. Yes, try to mix it. Yes, you definitely do. Of course it will. It's going to be beautiful. And if you need it to be, um, mix it with some bronzer. If you um, have like a, you can, let's see. I like to mix them with a, a product called Balm, B-A-L-M. It's um, also, you can mix that in. So if it's more of a, a matte or a satin lip color, and then a, obviously a cream bronzer, you can add a little bit of that Balm, which is like a clear, um, I don't think I have one here. It's just a clear, 
makeup product um, also, and I can always send you information on that if you comment bomb and you want to know more about it, but it helps mix things. It also, it's just so great to create your own makeup with it. It's just a, a nice product that's clear and sheer and creamy. Okay. Jax, hi, how are you? Robin, thank you. Okay. So Robin ordered Summer Love. Yep. With Spellbound, Royal Red, and Tango. Those are all Saint colors. Um, oh, Sunshine State to go on top. Yeah. So that's another thing is just any of the colors that you have. Yes, yeah, Summer Long, Love, not the song. Sounds like a nice song. I know typing, typing is the worst when you're texting, but yeah, any of your colors that you want to tone down, mix colors together on top of each other as well, right? Okay. So that's a really good idea. Um, okay. Now, I don't think I'm missing anything. Now let's go into, um, I did that one, that one, that one, that one, eyeshadow. All right, so we all have, okay, I'm not gonna say we all. <laughs> yes, Kathy, get some balm. It's great for mixing. And I think I have a tutorial here on this page that's just about the balm and all the different ways you can use it. So um, if you comment balm, I will make sure that I get that, kind of tag that for you so you can find it easier. Sometimes it's hard to find things. All right, so eyeshadows. How many of us have eyeshadows? I'm not gonna say um, everybody has eyeshadows because not everybody does, but um, a lot of us have eyeshadows. Eyeshadows can also last a long time, especially if they're not the colors that we like the best, right? So we end up with, you know, palettes of eyeshadows and we pick two that we use all the time and they get down to the tin and they're almost gone. And then you have all these other colors and you're like, okay, what am I going to do with these colors? I don't know. <laughs> Darn it. I feel like I wasted some money. So the nice thing is, is if you can, a couple different things to save money. One, um, find um, eyeshadows. Sorry, <laughs> that's so funny. There was a little, there's a smiley face that's kind of showing on a comment up above and it's it's showing up on my tooth right here <laughs> in my camera. I'm like, what is that? Yo, saying all right in the middle of my tooth. <laughs> it's just so, anyway, sorry, I digress. Okay. So yes, and the nice thing about it, Robin, exactly, is if you can create your own eyeshadow palettes, if you can um, work with or find a company like Saint, it, we're able to do that where you can just pick the eyeshadow that you want and build your own palette. Genius, because again, you're not getting and wasting money on, um, you know, like maybe, you know, a beautiful palette of eight or 10 colors and you only use two or three. I mean, how many, come on, how many, raise your hand, tell me yes, that you've done that. I, I mean, I've done it, right? So being able to pick your own colors. But if you have a palette or if you have a color and you're like, I don't know, what would I ever do with that color? <laughs> um, so there's a couple things we can do. So one thing is you can use them as, eye as eyeliners, okay? So if there are some darker shades, yes, yay, raise your hand, darker shades, in any of your palettes or darker shades in your makeup bag or whatnot, um, use them as an eyeliner. And another nice thing about that is, is let's say you have just one event and um, a wedding or a special event and you're like, in this case, you're we're gonna wear purple. <laughs> and you want, you're like, you know, I would really love a purple eyeliner. I just wanna do that. I think that would sound so fun. Uh, I don't want to have to go out and buy another, I don't want to buy an eyeliner. I'd only use that purple eyeliner once, but you know, I think in one of my eyeshadow palettes or somewhere, I remember that I have a purple. So let's turn it into an eyeliner. So grab yourself a, just like a, like a nice liner brush, something small like this. Okay. Right. And I like to get the brush just damp. So inside this cup, you could you know, you just put a, a drop of water. Um, actually, I have a little bit of setting spray in here. So I don't want, I'm just dipping it in there and I'm gonna kind of tap it off on the back of my hand because I don't want it really, really wet. If you get the brush too wet um, and you go to put it on, you know, it's gonna just be too wet and you might get it kind of bleeding. So you just want to use a little bit. Yep, spray your brush with the setting spray. You can also use the balm. Yes, you can, yep. And this As If is a saint color. It's a shimmery dark purple. And it, it's a beautiful um, eyeliner. So just like I say, take a liner brush that you have something small, either an angled brush or something small, dip in 
I like to dip in just in the corners um, so that I don't kind of get the center where um, I don't want to kind of get it wet there. I'm just going to dip in the corners. And you can make this into a really pretty eyeliner. Look at that. Look at how fun. Look at that. How easy is that? So mm, should I put it on the bronzer side or on the peach side? <laughs> I'm going to put it on this side just because it's easier for me to to do this. So I'm just going to come down, tip my head down, and I'm going to just start a little bit kind of at an angle from the outside. You see that there? Not pretty. Look how pretty that is. And you can even add more if you want. Um, and then I'm going to just get it closer to my lashes and come in just, you know, however far you want to line your eyes. I like to just line them about two thirds of the way in. But look at how pretty that is as an eyeliner. And it's so gorgeous. That's really, really fun. You can even use it on the bottom lashes as well, just underneath here. So that's really fun and easy because you already had it. What are some What are some other colors? Let's do this really quick. Let's do a quick poll, a quick comment poll, if you would, please. Um, tell me what color, you don't have to say the name or the brand, but what color of eyeshadow do you have right now in one of your palettes or one of your makeup bags that you're like, oh, I would never wear that as an eyeshadow necessarily, but I would use it as an eyeliner. Comment here and tell me while we're kind of visiting here and, and I can answer any questions too. Okay, so comment below and let me know uh, what color. So this was a beautiful purple color. I'll kind of tell you a couple of colors that I would probably use as eyeliners. Let me, well, I'm not going to, I was going to get my, all my eyeshadows out. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to, yes, start t commenting and telling me what color of eyeshadows do you have right now? Bayou, Pat, what color is Bayou? Is that like a, yeah, dark blues, Kathy? Let me show, navy blue. There we go. Thanks, Robin. Navy blue ones. Oh, April. Yeah. Eyeliner. Really good. Um, what about like emerald green, like a really dark green? What about um, like a smoky gray or even a black copper? Um, yep, a gray or a black. Um, yep, any of those colors. So anything that's just darker like that where you're like, you know, that's a little too dark for me. I'm just not that adventurous yet, even to use it, you know, as a, an outside color in my corners. But I'll definitely make my own eyeliner. Okay, well, I'm glad you liked that one. A lot of you are telling me that you really like that tip. Okay, great. Good, good, good. Okay, all right. So let's kind of keep going here. You said emerald green in my head. <laughs> About to type it. Oh, Robin, I'm sorry. Dark green, emerald greens, yes. Turquoise, yes. And it's not dark, Pat. Yes, Bayou, that's right. It is a turquoise, kind of a lighter, shimmery turquoise color. Would make a beautiful pop of an eyeliner right along there. Yes, definitely. Okay, good. I like all those answers. That's really fun. Okay, what else can we do with eyeshadows? And you don't, yeah, just don't know how to use it. So yeah, definitely colors. Play with it as an eyeliner, adding it with a little bit of setting spray. It's going to make it a little darker and it's going to make it go on a little bit creamier, even if you mixed it with like that balm product um, that I was talking about. I know we, we, Pat, you know what it is. So yes, really good idea. Okay, what about... What about using eyeshadow to fill in your brows? I know a lot of you have seen me do this, but for those of you who are new and, and don't know what I'm talking about, you can actually use eyeshadow. And a lot of us have lots of neutrals. A lot of us have a lot of browns. We have taupes. If you have gray, um, kind of more of gray brows, you can use something like a, a dusty lavender, um, for your brows. So experiment. Again, you have to play, and that's what's so fun about makeup is playing with it, but experiment with some of the colors of eyeshadow you have before you go out and buy, you know, an eyeliner pencil or an eye, eye uh, 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 not an eyeliner, an eyebrow pencil or an eyebrow pomade or a whatever. Experiment. Look in, look in your makeup and see. Get your eyeshadows out and look in there and just kind of start, maybe just take your finger and just maybe start rubbing on the back of your hand, you know, make yourself a little sampler. 
and kind of hold it up and decide, you know, is this, is this cool enough? Is this too warm? You know, is it what I would like in my brows? Okay, right? So all you need is a, a nice, a, like a liner brush. You can use the one I showed before, but, or an angle. I like an angled one. You know, see how it has the angle on there and something's a little stiffer. So you can actually, you know, get right in and kind of do those faux little hairs. You can kind of draw, if you need to draw them in, you can draw out a tail. So all you're gonna do is the same kind of process that we did before. Um, this one here, Robin, this is a brush from Saint and this one is called the line brush. It's got the spoolie on the end. Yeah, eyeshadow for brows. Jax loves it because it's a softer look. It is. I feel like it does give it a much softer look, almost like a powder brow right? It is exactly a powder brow. And that is actually what, you know, some t um, like makeup, uh, permanent makeup. Um, I have a powder brow underneath my brows here. It's I've had it, gosh, I don't know how long ago now it's been almost a year and a half or maybe even two years. I don't know, but you can kind of see it's faded. But when I got that done, they weren't microbladed. They were actually just tattooed on with a very, very soft powdery color. And that's really what you get when you use a powder in your brows. So take your take a brush, again, get it just lightly damp, um, setting spray or just a little bit of water. I always tap it off so I don't have too much. And then pick a color that you think is gonna work for your brows, experiment again. Some days, you know, and here's what else is so great about this, is there's some days where I want a much bolder, more intense um, brow. So I'll do a darker color, a cooler color, something really dark. Um, this is called coal, um, but they're, uh, Pat, this one's called coal. So let's see what it looks like. I've, I haven't really used this one before. <laughs> Lisa, I would love to come to North Carolina and do your makeup daily. Um, my sister and I want to move to North Carolina. Tell me where, well, if you want to, kind of where you are, where, where in North Carolina, kind of close to you are. My, um, my sister wants to move there. She wants us all to move there. I wish I get, it's just so beautiful. So many people are moving there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So let's go ahead. We're dipping it in. So the first thing I'm going to do is if you need to line them, you can actually just take that brush and just very lightly like outline. Can you see it kind of going on your brows? If you need to draw a little tail, whoops, see the tail there coming down? So I, I kind of enhanced my tail. Let's say you need to, you your brows are a little patchy. You might, might need to fill them in. So you can just kind of come in. Oops, I might've got too much on that time. And if you do, just tap it off. I didn't pay attention there. So I was looking in this mirror over here. That's okay. Just kind of fill them in where you need. And you can also do kind of that little faux little Close to Raleigh, yes, yes. I have not been yet and I want to go. I think maybe next time I, next summer when I'm visiting, maybe my sister and I will take a road trip from Kansas. That would be close, I think. <laughs> All right, so just flick these up. You know, you can kind of make the little faux hairs. And then I, you know, I love having a spoolie brush of some kind, so. That's not a bad color. See the difference here by filling them in and just kind of shading them in a bit. I don't know if those are just low riding hairs or if I got a little bit, I think they're just low riding hairs. I might need to clean those up. <laughs> um, and then just brush through that. And really it will stay. If you're concerned, um, you know, if, if you don't have a whole lot of eyebrow hair, then you might want to, you know, use um, use it with something that has a little bit more staying like a like a balm it kind of makes it more like a gel but really just drawing them on like that and you can even if you have setting spray just whatever's left in your little cup just tap over and that also helps just kind of set them right into the hair because setting spray can be used setting spray is a makeup setting spray it's not hairspray it's for your face it's for makeup and anywhere on your face you know, good setting sprays. Um, you can use them on your lips. You can use them on over your eyes, on your eyebrows. You can spray your face with it. So, you know, it's made to enhance the wear and to set makeup that's sitting on top of your skin. So that's really fun, okay? So, 
experiment with doing your brows. Okay. Any questions on that? <laughs> yeah, oak is a pretty oak's a pretty color. Look at your browns, your taupes. Um, it, and like I say, even look at some lavenders if you have gray hair and you want to just kind of just add just a little a little shape and a little shading to your brows. Um, look at some of those and you just have to test it out. Kind of, you know, maybe test it on the back of your hand and hold it up, but then you know, when you have time and you feel like messing around, put them in your brows and see what it looks like. Stand back and see what it looks like compared to your other brow. Or you can do what I do and just walk around your house with my husband and my older son. And they're like, what'd you do to your brows? Did you get them tattooed again? <laughs> I'm like, no, I just put a dark color because I like it. <laughs> Mind your own business, boys. That's the thing about only having boys. I, I don't have any girls. I have a daughter-in-law, so I should take that back. I do have a daughter-in-law now, but yeah, I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> they usually don't give me a hard time, but sometimes they do. All right, so eyebrows. Um, Okay, this one's going to be really, really fun. So let me wipe off some of this makeup. By the way, what I'm using here are these uh, refresh wipes. They are from Saint, which is the company I work with. And they are these little towelettes that you can use to take your makeup off at the end of the day. You can use them in the morning to kind of refresh. They have um, moisturizer, toner, and um, cleanser in them. And you don't have to rinse it off, which I love. So it's it's like made to where you don't have to rinse it off, but you can use them. So I, I have these always when I'm working here. But let me take my lip color off. And let me take this color off, okay, because I want to show you. And now I'm just down to bare skin, but that's okay. It's, we'll see how this looks. Okay, what if you want to mix and really have fun and mix something like this with this? This, this turned out so pretty. I cannot even tell you. So this is like a really kind of a purpley, bright, glossy pink uh, blush, lip. So something that's just, you know, really fun like this. And then this is a gorgeous shimmer. It's like a burgundy eyeshadow. And this is a powder and this is a cream. And we're going to mix these two together and we're going to create a totally beautiful fall uh, lip and cheek color that you're like, oh, I wish I had a color like that. So we're going to make our own. <laughs> Yeah, boys tell it like it is. I know you have two of those, Lisa. I know. They always do. They always give me that side eye first and then they then they have to make their comment. It's just fine. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. I also make them like watch my videos and things like that and things like, look at this fun reel I made watching it. <laughs> so they have to put up with me in that way as well. So, all right. So let's mix these two together. I'm going to take quite a bit. I'll do it on the back of my hand. So I'm going to scoop... I mean, I'm just, you know, you can use a little spoon or a little, I don't know, a little hors d'oeuvre knife. I don't know. This came with some, uh, this came with some make, uh, some cream, 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 <laughs> face cream. It's like a little scooper. So I'm going to grab, I'm going to grab some of that color there. And if you want to know this color, if you are a Saint user, or maybe you want to know if this one's in your bag, this, oh, uh, this is Pinky Promise. So, woo, Right. So this is a bright color. Let's look at it by itself. It is a gloss, glossy. <laughs> okay, so there it is by itself. All right, I'll hold that for a second so you can see it. So I'm gonna add some more because I wanna kind of create, I got a little swoosh of it there. Then I'm gonna take some of this. I'm gonna be very careful because I don't wanna, maybe I'll just take a smaller little end and I'm just gonna kind of scrape off a little bit. That's why I was trying to do it on the mirror. So I got to hold, I'll hold my hand this way. See, we're being like scientists, like makeup science. Okay. I might need to add a little bit more. I'm just going to grab a little. Okay. Let me hold my hand down here so I can put it on here. Okay. All right. So let's now, I'll just take my finger. And we're going to mix these two together. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Did we just create the most gorgeous color? for ourselves. Okay. This is so pretty. And I wanted a plum. I want a pretty plum 
wine, mulberry, holiday, warm color. I mean, this is so pretty and I'm just taking off the back of my hand. But again, if you come up with a formula, your own little mix of something that you really, really like, then get yourself a little, get some of those little containers, those little travel containers with the lid and mix them up and put it away so that you have it. This makeup is so fun. Jax, I know. I mean, it's just so fun. It's just fun. And makeup should be fun. And so that is such a fun color. So it's just kind of still showing there a little bit, but I used up most of it here. I had some here that I put on my mirror. But look at how pretty that is. Isn't that fun? I'm gonna put some more on my cheeks so you guys can really see it. Really see it. Let's add some more. And it has a little shimmer. I mean, who doesn't like a little shimmer? A little shimmer, shimmer. That's pretty fun. Okay. Ooh, yeah. So date night color, really pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay. So homework. Seriously, I have homework for all of you. One, if you just now hopped on, hi, I'm gonna save this so you can watch it on the replay because I do want you to go back and watch it on the replay because I want you all to come back and comment later a combination, um, something that you created with something in your makeup bag that you turned into something else or you used in a, in a way that it wasn't meant for. And I want a picture of you doing it, okay? not You don't have to do a picture of you mixing it all together, but I wanna see a picture of it on your lips or on your cheeks, or maybe you made an eye color. I want you to comment below, come back. You don't have to, obviously you don't have to do it tonight. Um, and then I'm going to do a drawing and I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to give away, but it's going to be good. Yeah, it's going to be really, really fun. So make sure you do that for me, okay? So uh, Lisa, what I just used a minute ago was Pinky Promise. This is from Saint, a color called Pinky Promise. Now, if you um, don't aren't aren't familiar with Saint or don't have any, you know, look for something. Look for a lipstick in your bag that is a kind of a fun, bright pink if, to kind of get this color. And then I mixed it with, um, oh, I never said what this color was. This is Eve from Saint. It's a shimmer powder. Really, really beautiful. And it's called Eve. So these two together created this. Really, really fun. Okay. So homework, homework. Please, if you want to, let's, well, let me just, yeah, I'll think of something and I'll, I'll put it up in the, uh, the caption of this after I save it. Um, I'll tell you what the, what the prize is going to be and I'll do a random drawing. Um, and you know what, if you're the only one that does this, you know, hey, well, come back and even Jax has both of these, come back and show me your combination with this and post a picture. Okay, of how you used it. Did you use it on your lips? Did you use it here? You know what? That color would be gorgeous on your eyes. I already kind of wiped it off, um, but that would be gorgeous as an eyeshadow. I should have done it all three places. So look at how you just, the ideas start rolling and you start thinking, what could I do with all this makeup, right? <laughs> how can I just become my own makeup scientist and come up with all these fun things? It's really, really fun. So homework, if you just hopped on, Go back and watch this from the beginning when I'm all done, comment, replay, and then take the next day or two or maybe this weekend, I'll, I'll, I'll give you till Sunday. What is today, Wednesday? No, mm -mm, no, take that back. No, no, no. I'll give you till Friday. Because if, if I don't give you like a time frame, a lot of you will go, eh, I ain't gonna do it. So you have till Friday to play with your makeup, Mix something together, use something in a different way that it wasn't meant to be for, multi-use it, do a picture, and then come back and post that picture and say, you know, post your picture in the comments, and then I will do a really, really fun drawing. I will find a bunch of fun stuff that's all cream that you can mix and match together and have so much fun with, okay? And I'll get it, I'll, I'll pick somebody, I'll do that. So Friday, Friday by... Friday by midnight, so you have till Friday. 
and then I'll, I'll uh, come back and do that. Yay. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Pat, Lois. Any other questions? Um, and if for, if you don't have any, um, you can always, if you think of something later, come back and ask me and I will get off of here so I can save this for replay. And then, you know, Hey, if you're feeling up to it, go play with your makeup. Why not? Right. <laughs> go play with your makeup. And then, um, yeah, but wait till the morning to take me a, you know, do a selfie <laughs> in nice light so I can see how gorgeous you look and just that gorgeous light. Okay. All right. Well, thank you so much, gals. I, I do appreciate you. I cannot tell you how much I appreciate you. I have so much fun doing this. If you don't follow my page already, please give me a follow or a like or whatever Facebook wants you to do. <laughs> okay, no, you, yes, yes, yes. I'm getting ready to hit replay. I'm getting ready to save it. We're still live right now. We're still live, Lois. No big deal. But um, yeah, come back and do that. Okay. <laughs> You're fine, cutie. All right. Thanks, gals. And like I said, I'm going to hop off now and I'll go add some information to this post and have a great night. I'll talk to you later. Bye.